What is fusion? It is the ultimate clean energy source. It is zero carbon, zero emissions, it is always on, always available power. It is the perfect energy source, the holy grail. It's what we've all been working for and waiting for. If you hear about this, you go, wait a minute. Either this is too good to be true and there's no possibility, or you're left with, this is crazy. This is the most important thing that we could be doing scientifically and make a source of energy that never ever runs out, right? And offer it to the world. We're entering the end game of fusion power. Decades of scientific research brought us to this point where the community is now ready to plan to build an electricity producing fusion pilot plant. Fusion is progressing fast. New technological capabilities, scientific breakthroughs and private industry involvement are changing the game. The US fusion community has united behind a strategic plan to deliver a pilot power plant. Major public funded projects are surpassing critical milestones. Interest in graduate programs is surging and the private fusion industry is growing around the world as we work together to transition to commercial fusion. As we look forward to the future, there's going to be a tremendous need for new energy sources and fusion is, uh, holds tremendous promise for doing that. Fusion is the reaction happening in the sun and the stars. It's the way the sun makes energy. Hydrogen fuses to make helium and releases huge amounts of energy. Imagine if we could have our own miniature stars producing fusion energy here on Earth. If we could do this, we could produce abundant energy with no greenhouse gases. We wouldn't have to worry about running out of fuels because the types of hydrogen we need come from readily available sources like seawater and the reaction produces a lot of energy. Just one kilogram of fusion fuel produces as much energy as hundreds of truckloads of coal. Half a bathful of water and the lithium in a laptop battery would be enough to cover your lifetime energy needs. Fusion would complement renewables to provide baseload electricity to keep the lights on during peaks and troughs. Fusion could provide industrial heat to clean up dirty industries. Fusion could generate hydrogen as a replacement for natural gas. It's a safe and it can be placed in places close to cities that are going to need enormous amounts of electricity in the future. In order to get fusion reactions going, you need to keep your fuel hot enough and dense enough, like the centre of a star, and you need to keep it like that for long enough for fusion reactions to occur. There are two main ways of confining or trapping hot fusion fuels. These are magnetic confinement and inertial confinement. Magnetic confinement uses magnetic fields to trap the hot fusion fuel. Inertial confinement uses a fuel pellet's own inertia, that is its inability to move away fast enough to keep the fuel trapped and hot. Intense laser beams compress a tiny fuel pellet to obtain fusion conditions in the centre of the pellet. Others use shock waves. The most heavily researched approaches are tokamaks on the magnetic side and laser fusion on the inertial side. Historically, government funding was channeled into these two main approaches, which has resulted in some very large, impressive facilities. In 2020, the US fusion community came together to create a strategic plan to guide our efforts to deploy a fusion pilot plant by the 2040s while enabling the discovery science and spin-off technologies that will inevitably stem from plasma science research. This plan was created by the brightest minds in the field from across the nation, bringing an unprecedented level of consensus and providing confidence that the U.S. is on the right path. Major publicly funded fusion projects are on track to deliver significant breakthroughs. User facilities push the boundaries of scientific exploration and open the door to capturing the process that powers the sun and the stars. University research programs pursue rigorous academic inquiry while training the next generation of fusion researchers and preparing them for leadership positions across a variety of STEM sectors. Young people are flooding into the field, smart young people with creative ideas that are changing what we're thinking. It's a really great time to be a young scientist in fusion uh, because there is a real possibility that younger early career scientists will have the opportunity to not only witness, but actually contribute to, to meeting some of 
the major milestones in fusion like net energy gain and long pulse operation. We potentially have the opportunity to work on a burning plasma experiment like ITER or other conceptual designs that are out there right now during our careers, which is something that not many people in the generations behind us have been able to say. Robust US investment has advanced the multinational ITER project in France while creating high-tech jobs by building major components through contracts across America. ITER recently surpassed the 70% construction mark while beginning assembly operations on its massive tokamak, which will demonstrate Fusion's suitability as a practical energy source. Finally, across the US and the world, private companies are working to accelerate the path to practical Fusion energy bringing agility and business focus to the challenge. This type of global change requires a firm national commitment and the finest minds America, or indeed the world, can provide. If we're right, it changes the planet as we know it because it's a completely new paradigm in a source of energy. All right? So the question becomes, are we willing to take the risk to find out if we're right? I mean, don't you want to be a part of something that changes the planet?